What is going on? It is go time. This is Mortar Mike, and this is yet another Watcher of Realms video. Today, we are after the Guild V Guild. Yay. And so, we're going to have a lovely time in Guild V Guild today. Two reasons. One, I did an earlier video for Guild v Guild for you guys. I've done a couple of them so far. I think this is like number seven, actually. We're doing pretty good. Um, and I was doing attacks, they weren't amazing. And man, I had a few people in the comment section that did not like that I didn't have the S tier in-game strategies to show you guys. I'm showing you guys what I know and growing as we go. The reason why I say that is because I want you guys to know that this is a safe space to learn Gil v Gil. What I love about what you guys do when you watch this content is you do two things. One, you guys jump into the chat and you say how you would be the team or you give suggestions of what are good ideas that you would try out. That makes a good community for people to enjoy the Gil v Gil content. Because to be honest, there's not a lot of content creators that are making stuff on Gil v Gil. I count maybe like five or so. There's maybe more, but ones that I know of. Oh, speaking of that, um, if you know an awesome content creator that makes content for Guild v Guild and I haven't given them a shout out yet, please put their name either in the chat or definitely put it in the comments. Which leads me to point number two that I was making. The comment section is one of the things that I love in the Guild v Guild videos. I try to respond to every comment you guys put in there. That being said, also, I heard a question, somebody asking if Yovar or Dahlia, if they were good in, in Guild v Guild. I will answer that question simply because I was gonna do a whole video on it, but Yovar would be amazing in Guild v Guild, but there's a caveat to that. Because he's a platform champion, it means he has to take another one of your higher tiles, one of your platforms, which means your other champions have to be in different spots, which is sometimes a little iffy. Not necessarily as much of an issue on the left to right, the smaller defenses, but Central Keep, uh, could get a little hairy in there because it's such a small area. And let's also not forget that his ultimate has a really big wind up. The charge up for it using this ultimate is very fast, but he has to have it at 12 swords if you really want to get the biggest bang for your buck when he does it. So that being said, his initial ult may be good if he's out of the fight for long enough and it takes a long time for the battle to get there. Yes, I'm getting straight into like if Yovar is good for Gil v Gil. One of the challenges that I would see with somebody like a Yovar looking at his kit, testing him in things like Gil Boss and stuff and other content, um, he is a single target attacker. That being said, I'll be honest, it is great to have him. Silas does a better job without Aracha. That's not to knock them, but I always consider, do I need to have this champion in Guild v Guild to make this comp work? In this case, I may, because sometimes you wanna have a Racha so your snipers can do more damage, your marksmen, like your Hex and your Silas would be nice. But there are many cases where you don't need to have a Lord present to do the job you're trying to do. It's just an extra damage bonus. Um, it's just a little bit more damage and a little bit more range. Sometimes that comes in handy. So take that with a grain of salt. It's not a yes or no answer if he's amazing at Guild v Guild. It's really how you play with him. And he needs to be in a place where he's safe so he doesn't get, get sniped down because we already know in Central Keep, it's sniper season out there. It's very easy to get killed. Let's get into the freaking content. But you know, before we get into the content, we must do one thing. Let's put on those war colors, shall we? Woo! It looks beautiful this time. Let's crank it up, let's crank it up, let's crank it up. Maximum war time. There we go. <laughs> now let's show the game, shall we? I hear very often there's not a lot of content creators that make Guild v Guild content, which is why I'm happy to be one of the people to keep it at the forefront, because the more you do this, the more you're gonna be ready for other content like the Demonic Crusades, which is on the way. I've already recorded an entire video of me playing and I've beaten the first couple stages and now I've already in my personal time beaten all the stages, including the Nightmare Daily Challenge on a regular basis. But I interrupted it because I have to show you guys a new boss. What was his name? Uh, I really can't remember his name. <laughs> I was about to say Shamir Ooh, or Cetra. Psych. It's like Ceramus. What I seems to getting it wrong. The new guild boss that came into Watcher of Realms. I have just put a video out. I made it live. I do apologize. I wanted to wait a really good time to put it out. So many people already had their content available. I don't want to be the guy with the super late video. Still ended up being it. But I did two full battles um, against the boss and went through the mechanics as I was playing it live, actually just showing what I've learned, what I've seen from what I read and what I see when I'm playing against them. I hope that you guys like that. But let's get into this content, shall we? Yes, I'm going to actually keep it on this screen now. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. So the battle that we have right now, I am in Trap House Mafia, which is also still part of the Sin Cluster. So don't get it twisted, I'm still in there. And we're playing against Deers. Deers is doing pretty good against us. They have a pretty good advantage on damage. Uh, let's see what we do here. All right, so first we have, um, 
what is that, Rimlanian? 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 I hope there's not a joke behind that that I don't know about. <laughs> All right, so we have some pretty classic comps here. Um, the bottom comp is probably, in my opinion, going to be the easier one to go after. There's so here's here's the interesting part. I'm going to actually I'm going to I'm going to back that statement up. One of the challenges that I encountered with this team because I know they're already bunched into the corner. They're not bunched into the corner. This is not well made. Yes, they're bunched to the back corner. I've been trying this strategy. I've been trying to get the timing down. I've been having a tough time doing it. But what I've been doing is the strategy where I use the unalives and the spiders in central key. The timing is so much harder because I haven't gotten it down yet. But I use those two and I can go down there and I can drop um, Torador and Baron's first life. And then from there, I can go in and start to do more damage. So I do like when that works. Problem is it doesn't work very often. <laughs> it's very risky. And also with it, I actually send them initially in the battle. Um, because if I send a tank, I'm going to be honest, Silas is going to unalive him quickly. It's almost a waste of resources. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try it. If it works, that's awesome. I've practiced a few times in Friendly Face Off. Let's see if we can get some results here. Um, I actually think this team that I have is not bad, but it would be better. Who would we switch out here? The melee cleavers are not bad. I actually like them more, but I'm going to keep the bookkeepers in here. He's going to go into the back. I don't allow that I need the biggest boom. Tank is gonna be okay. And I think that's a good battle setup right there. So what is my strategy? My strategy is I'm gonna start with the spiders and the boomies. <laughs> I wanna send them in. Yes, people, I, you, I hear you already saying, yo, you should send the tank in first. In this scenario, I would rather the spiders be hit and my unalives be hit, uh, then my unalives be hit. Um, and I'd rather to not waste the whole tank at the beginning and six costs. So let's give it a shot. Let's see if we work it out. It says I have a medium chance. There's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. All right, we click affiliated. Good. Let's get into our battle. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I've only done this like four times on Friendly Face Off. So I'm really still getting the timing down on how to do this right. So I'm going to get it up to nine. I'm going to tap onto Baron here. First, I'm going to do a send on the lives here. I'm just going to send one. Actually, you know what? I'll send two. All right, and once they get to right about there, send the double spiders. My goal is to get the spiders to come in front just in time. Actually, looks like the boomies are way ahead. This might be a trash run. Oh, get ahead, spiders. Get ahead, get ahead. Oh, get in there. Uh, did it work? No, it didn't. Wait, why don't you hear death sound? Oh, we got her. We got the healer. That's great, that's great news. Now I can send the tank in um, and we can work with the um, melee champs here. So that's great, we got hollow down, that's awesome. What I wanted to do, if you have noticed, my goal was to send them further past Baron to get in range of, um, wait, let's check Silas as well. Silas pretty far away from us all. He's close to it, but I'm not concerned if he does his all. All right, you guys see I'm doing the slow down option. I'm doing it. It's making for some nice merges here. It makes for some really good merges. Um, so I'm going to just send my tank in. He's going to just suck up damage while I chip down Baron. Um, after I get Baron down, I'm going to try to send the bookkeepers in if the tank lasts long enough. So let's have a 10. Let's tap somebody. One, two. All right, this, I'm hoping this gets us the dub because all we got to do is out damage right now. Baron's still alive. That's a challenge. And our time is low. And we still need three guys to get through it. I don't think the bookkeepers are going to stay alive. Cause especially right, Silas no doesn't have his ult. Oh, he must have just used his ult. Okay. So let's see if we could just damage out now. This is tough. Torador is going to be there for a while. Ooh. Hang in there, bookkeepers. They're doing okay. Oh, but I don't have enough time to make it into the portal. Man. Look at that. I technically would I technically beat the team, just didn't make it into the portal. I can't count that as a win, because the last thing you do is to get them into the freaking portal. But you see why I did not start with the tanks at the beginning of the match? Because I noticed if you start with the tanks, there's six costs gone and a ton of time gone. Um, but the Unalives did their job. What I wanted them to do was get just far enough past Baron to knock out Hollow. Um, problem is they didn't get as far as I wanted them to get, so I'm gonna try that strategy again and I'm going to time it a little bit better um, on the unalive run. Okay, 
This time I'm gonna get close to 10 count. Alrighty. Our lives. And right about there is good. Oh, 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 tap, tap. Jeez, I might have screwed that up. I might have just screwed that up. They're far ahead. Crap. And there's ults active. Crap. Yeah, that's it. Get ahead, spiders. Get ahead. Race, buddies. Race. Some got ahead. That got hollow. Got hollow. And I got a kill on Torador. Nice. We're cooking with that. That's great. All right, so now I'm going to get up to 10. Send our tanker in. This time, I'm just hoping I can get that damage I needed like last time. I didn't get it this last time. All right, uh, so this time I'm gonna get to eight. This time I'm gonna send bookkeepers. We're gonna try something different. We gotta try something different, right? The last thing we tried didn't work. <laughs> and I'm just gonna rush it. I'm just gonna give it a shot and see if it works. I'm also gonna send my melee champs in here. You're supposed to send them in combos, I know, but hey, we're trying to get this thing done and last time we got locked out by time. So I'm just hoping that the tank does enough job to keep, uh, me, let my bookkeeper do good damage himself. It's working. Get in there and do damage. Oh, Silas is about to go straight through them. Oof. Oh man, that's horrible to watch. Silas old is done, done though. It's, come on, get in there. Get through there, just kill him and just walk. Just kill him and just walk. Okay, walk buddy. Oh gosh, he's so slow. He's so slow. Get in there, sir. Get in the hole. Yes, sir. That's a win. So that's what I did. <laughs> Why am I so excited about that? That's a dub. I'll take that. So yeah, sometimes you don't send the tank first because it costs a lot. And it's a waste of cost and it's a waste of time. If I had one less second in that battle, I would have lost both battles. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, I love fighting Central Keep. That's my favorite place to fight. That's the one I have the most experience in. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Top team looks interesting. I don't think I should even touch that team though, to be completely honest. I'm gonna just look at the build out for it. I may not battle them. So very similar comp to the one before. The problem is it would be much harder to pull this one off because Maul's gonna snipe that combo. So I don't have an immediate strategy for this. I'm gonna tell you too, and Gil v Gil, it is also wise to not just battle every battle. Look at battles, you can figure out how you could beat them. In that case, I figured out how I could beat them. Wish I did that the first round. I beat all the champions, it's just, I didn't make the walk. It's all good, it's all good. Next up, who do we have over here? Alert. Okay, Soul Credence is a threat in Gil v Gil. I do know this, uh, but I am interested to see what I could do against this team. And also, there's a benefit. He has taken damage, so that means somebody has had a chance against him. Team one, they got a victory. So what I'm gonna do is what I recommend every player does that doesn't know how to immediately beat a champ, beat a team. Check out the battle record if they've lost a battle already. It's literally a tutorial on how to beat the team. Okay, so that's actually more spread out than I thought they'd be. Okay. So I'm guess okay, they tanked it. All right, cool. I rarely use that tank, that's funny. So for this, oh, that damage is crazy. That damage is crazy on Sokinus. Look at that. He is eaten. How do they win? That's a lot of pressure. Sokinus is working, man. That's crazy. So against this team, the strategy I was just talking about just earlier, I would do that same strategy. Okay, so they beat Olaf down. Okay. So could this threat. Look at he wiped the dogs too. Wait. That's the defense that won. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, wait a sec. I think I tapped, I tapped the wrong battle. <laughs> you know what? I misread it. I misread it. Let me see that. Let me see this again. Illert defeat. So this is something that I messed up on. You see it already. You probably obviously know. Victory next to the name shows who won or defeat next to the name shows who lost. So I read that incorrectly. How did you get your dub? Yes, this is not me doing a battle. This is me literally showing y'all what is a good idea to do in Gil v Gil. Mm. Wow, so good this damage is nuts. Oh, Jesus. Pray for them. Pray for them. 
pray for them because they just they just went to heaven. But they got the damage in. What the dog doing? They got it done. Nice. And sent the dogs through. Impressive. So in that case, I would probably do the same thing. I would send a tank, and honestly, you probably could slip the dogs by if you have enough block built up. Um problem is I would be very very concerned about what kind of damage Maul can do because I would use the the magic tank <clears throat> so I'm gonna give it a shot I just watched the battle I saw how they beat them uh, let's see here I, I want to use the unalive because it's so daggum good but Zilla 2 and um, Maul are gonna make it very tough for me and in this case I actually may have to send a tank because I got to get somebody to make it further enough for all the ults to go off Zilla 2's ult takes too freaking long anyway <laughs> I hate Zilla too. She's not really amazing in Guild v Guild, but I just despise the moments where I have to run into her. We're not going to be able to use those. Those won't work anywhere. I was thinking about bookkeepers. Nope, we can take this off the team. I do not think that our Maul or our Hollow is in range to be sniped. I think that they're going to run into Olog first, which means that would be an absolute waste. We need the doggos. I got to drop one tank. I just drop one tank. All right, one, two. Uh, these guys are going to be at the end, of course. Let's get the doggos through. The dog doing. There we go. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It'll never happen again. I promise. All right, quick affiliate. So this is my team comp. What I want to do is send the tank in first. Once the tank goes through, I should have enough time to get back the um, the damage dealers, the melee dealers. If they, I mean the shadow cast, the shadow keepers. If they can do their their job, it would be good. If not, I'm gonna wait for the next opportunity and send the spiders and the boomies along with another tank so I can waste some um, soak this ult again. My thing is, I don't know how much damage soak this ult really does, but I do know that Zilla 2 and soak this both do magical damage. So I'm gonna say that they have the best chance, he has the best chance in this battle. So it's worth a shot. I'm really counting on him to pull through, but I'm still gonna put him third place of um, what demons I'm using. So. What I say, tank first to get the ults to go through. So I'm going to get the count up to 10 first. And then I have to get back up to eight. <clears throat> All right. That's at 10. I'm really just going to rush this here. All right, seven. Okay. Let's get those ults to go by. So now, oh, buddy. Where's your range go? It doesn't reach the other end. Good. There we go. That's what we want it. Now, I still did pretty good damage to him. Well, that's Maul's damage, nobody else's. Get in there, do your thing. Break down Olaf. Thank you, sir. All right, now, one more tank. And then we'll just send the dogs. If I can get him to proc his ult, I'm good. Okay. Tap here. Dogs out, let's go. Come on, get past Maul. You got it. You got it. Good battle, good comp actually. Um, I had a really interesting conversation. See, I'm doing the stats today. I'm feeling good about this. I had a really awesome conversation with Sebastian Keynes, who takes Gilby Gil very seriously too. Also, shout out to the Dragon um, Dragon Slayer community. They have a actual like a podcast set up if you go to their channel basically they make a podcast and watch your realms i'll put a link up for episode one you guys should see it episode two might be out by the time this video is out they talk about a lot of content in the game and me and him had a whole conversation on guild v guild that was at least like a good hour and a half it's just different topics and stuff in the game so i do recommend you guys check them out i think it'd be awesome but you see i'm putting together a couple of comps here I'm also explaining how I would go against the team because I want you guys to have an idea of why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's a dub, so we're definitely gonna do a dupe battle. <laughs> what else do you think I was gonna do? And I'll say this too, it is wise to say this, I highly recommend people do a lot of friendly face off in this game because you do not wanna wait until Guild v Guild to um, test things you haven't done before. In this case, I'm still doing things that I've had a little bit of familiarity with. Let's make sure they drop Olaf. They should have no problem with that. Olaf is out. Honestly, the best way to deal with the um, Shadow Keepers really is you have to send. Um, you have to send. A, I'm brain farting. What am I thinking? Let's get the dogs too. Yeah. Um, 
You have to have a champion that has unalive in their kit, or you know, they um have unyielding, or they have a second life, or a third life, like Torador has an 05, which is nuts. Um, you gotta have that to be able to keep them at bay. If not, they're gonna just cut through somebody like an Olog. They even do a, they even make pretty short work of Cyrus also, which is sad to say. <laughs> but Cyrus thankfully has two minions in front of him that gives him a little bit of delay uh, before he even gets attacked. So there's some benefit to that. Bottom team, I'm considering if I'm gonna battle that team. Let's look at it, let's just see it. Broke here and um, him is gonna be in front. They may actually be both at the um, in the back area. Let's see. I knew it was a back pocket team. I freaking knew it. So against this team, my concern is making sure I get the boonies past Broke here. Same thing as we did before. So I'm gonna actually go with that strategy. Uh, once I do that, I'm gonna have the bookkeepers. So boomies, spiders, bookkeepers, and and I'll, honestly, that may be enough to beat this team, but I'm not 100% confident in that yet. And let's see, what are the units they use? They have magic damage and she does physical damage, but I'm not concerned about getting in her range. Uh, should I even use that tank? Tank's gonna be good in keeping damage going. Uh, I need to drop, it's problem is I can drop, so I can drop Ezrin if I have two sets of boomies, because if both of them go off, they can drop Ezrin before you can heal. But that's still a challenge. That's still tough. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do with our damage here. Doggos are gonna be in the ab almost absolute bag. That should be a reasonable comp. My concern is if I can get my spiders by with Valk's ult going off, I may have to send a tank first, which I don't like doing, because it, it doesn't waste BP, it doesn't waste arm um, cost, but in this case, I would rather get into the fight, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna send a tank. It's smarter to send a tank. If I can get farther enough, far, far enough into this fight, my book uh, bookkeepers should do a pretty good job. I actually don't need the doggos. As much as I like them, I don't think they're gonna make a good, I don't think they're gonna make a good push here. So I'm gonna swap them out for the shadow cap, shadow keepers, shadow casters. I'm gonna be honest, y'all, they are great. They are like freaking amazing. I didn't get them until very, very late in the game. I got them from Guild Boss because I don't farm gear rate two as much. I got them from Guild Boss. All right. I want to try that strategy as before, but I'm going to send a tank beforehand because I want to burn through that ult. If I can get that going, then I probably can sneak um, the rest of them behind um, Brokir and get the kill on Ezra. All right. This is going to be interesting. I may have to just send a second tank too. Cause I gotta use so much of this cost up. Cause her ult lasts so freaking long. <laughs> Together, we are it is ready. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's introduce some evil. One. Two. Okay, about right. Let's introduce some acumen. Yes. It's a little bit of distance, but they may be able to get past. I just want you to get the spot. Get up, get up there, spiders. Run, spiders, run, spiders. Get Ezra. Good work. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now that they're in, let's go ahead and tap here. And oh yeah, let's do our um, assassins here. Might as well just call them assassins. I mean, look how they're dressed. <laughs> That idea. She is peeling through those tanks. Mm. Peeling through those tanks, but they're working through slowly but surely. All right, this may work. My problem is I don't think I'm gonna have three champ, three demons getting through. Um, so that's gonna be my loss. Man, that's a tough fight. So in that case, what I've done differently, I managed to drop Ezrin. They don't have a healer anymore. But those freaking heals from the lore bonus are nuts. Hmm. Very good. Very good team. Very good team. Very good team. I'll take that as an L. I gave it my all. I gave it a shot. I think I need to send the spiders a little bit faster next time. I want to try. I want to try it again. I was thinking I was gonna just quit on them. I'm gonna try one more time. Worth a shot. I took an L, but let's get back into the fight again. I'm gonna send a. It's really that time into that old of hers because it does so much freaking damage. Now that I know it does. 
Mm -hmm. All right. I'm also hoping I can time around those shields. So I'm going to try a little bit different timing. All righty. Okay, so let's do this here. I'm actually going to put the boomies further back. So I can get the spiders in a better timing. And about right there. It still feels risky, man. Okay, the spiders are looking in a better spot this time. Come on, spiders, catch up. There we go, get ahead. Get in there. They didn't get it done. Man, that hurts. What do I do now? I really gotta just go and try to get as much damage as I can. Ezra's still alive, so it's pretty much a done deal. I pretty much lost this battle. Man, that's a tough one. Yeah, there's not much I can do here, because Ezra, if Ezra died, then I would have a chance. Um, this looks like a very hard battle to win. Yeah. And then I have a minute left, and I don't have many champions left to keep doing the damage. Ezra is such a beast healer on a single target. He's so insane. That's a loss. We, we can tell that's a loss. There's, there's no coming back from that battle. If the Un allows me to do it the right time, I get the timing wrong. I brought the spiders in a little bit too slow. Um, if I brought them in faster, what I'm expecting to happen is once they get right up to Brokir, they build up his block and the Boomies can pass him and hit King Hars and hopefully get in a good enough spot to hit King Hars and kill Valkra. That's what I want to happen, but it's very difficult to make happen. We have two more battles left. So we're coming through, we're working through it, seeing what stuff we can do. I'm gonna go at the bottom here, Ba. Ba has not been, oh he has two wins, he's not even been touched. Very nice. Now let's check out the top team here. The top team get battled. Uh, so yeah, he actually beat uh, THMA, Mojo Dance Club. That's cool. All right. Mmm, that's a tough team. Wait, if I set the tank and I get the boomies past Regulus, we're in business. I'm gonna show you why. If it works, I'll show you why. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, I won't use Bookkeeper because nothing is touching. So it's not really good to use a Bookkeeper here except for if you hit those two in the back. I have to lock it in perfectly uh, on the Boomy strategy. If that works, I'm good. If that doesn't work, I'm screwed. We'll use the Necros too, just to have them. That seems like a decent enough comp. I may have to send the tank again. I'm probably just gonna send Necro because Necro sends so many ads. That's only gonna make my situation better. I'm going to get it close to a 10 count first. All right. Necro is a great at being able to pop the ult at a relatively low cost and still be usable. <laughs> you dare think you can resist what might Silas's ult is going to finish by the time I get this strategy going here. All right. So let's go here. Put the boomies all the way in the back this time. Once he gets a six, a little bit more aggressive with the spiders this time. It's actually too soon. That's good. I'm just trying to get the boomies past Regulus. If I can do that, I'm gonna be in a real nice spot. Just watch, let's see if it works. They're way ahead of them. It's actually too far ahead, Jesus. They walk right past. Get in there. They did not do it, oof. Yeah, that's a tough battle. Wait, did he say indestructible? Because if he did, then I'm in somewhat of a good standing, which means he's weaker. Uh, but that time is going to be tough with the limited amount of champions that I have you left. You hmm. resist me. Yeah, that's a tough battle. I don't think I'm going to get that dub, especially once that ult pops off right there. Yeah, he's about to cut right through him. Do your damage, girls. They're doing no damage to regulars. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, what was I trying to do? I missed time the spiders. I'm going to try it again, just to give it a shot, because I want to see if I can perfect it into a video. Um, I don't advise doing that because it's a risky offer on, you know, it's a risky chance of winning or not. So that was a loss. I'm going to try it one more time, same battle. Um, this time I'm going to time the spiders a little bit slower because I'm just trying to get them to go in right there at um, Regulus and so the Boomies can make it pass. What happens is two things. If one of the spiders dies while they're on Regulus, the Boomies will stop and turn around. And what happens is that means they will automatically explode on Regulus. Um, if not, they'll just make their way back to um, Arrogance in the back and, and tap the whole team, which is another good thing. So it's very, very, very tight timing. I'm going to start with the auto fight to begin. 
Then once I see I'm putting my boomies down, I'm gonna time from there. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. We're gonna try it though. We're gonna give it a shot. Let's see if we can do it. Get ready to press all the fight in a little while. Once I see the boomies go down. All right? And the light just died over there, but we are okay. All right, tap it. A little longer. That's good right there. That's pretty good. That's a little bit too far. <laughs> Run, spiders. Faster, spiders, faster. This is working. This is good. Boomies are getting hit, but they got in. They have... They did it. Told you I could do it. <laughs> and that's a win. That's what I was trying to do earlier, by the way. That's what I was trying to do. Um, yeah, so I've, I've been practicing. I've been having some folks saying I don't know how to play Guild v Guild. So I had to come in and show y'all just about every team. Was it every team we battled I ended up beating? I think there's one I lost two to. I'm not mistaken. But um, that's me and Guild v Guild. How you like me now? I'm showing y'all how to use these strategies. I really think that... Um, not even to get necessarily to like go braggadocious thing. I don't think that that is even a good lane to go. Yeah, that's all eight battles. It's good to do friendly face off. I think I did about 30 friendly face off battles just to find out what are different ways that I can overcome some tough team comps. And now I'm seeing what demons that you that I don't use as much. I didn't use the unalives a lot. I didn't use the boomies a lot. I didn't use the shadow casters a lot. Because one, I'll be honest, once I got the bookkeeper, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I got lazy in Guild v Guild. I got lazy because they do very similar to what the boomies do, but um, they could do it multiple times. <laughs> but at the same time, you saw what the benefit was, being able to go in there and splash the entire team around regulars so it's just regulars left. That's um, a pretty fun thing to be able to do. This has been your boy, Mortar Mike. I wanna know in the comment section, I wanna get your feedback. What are some of the most challenging issues you've been bumping into in Guild v Guild? I want to make this an atmosphere, even in the chat over here. I see y'all. Y'all over here. I appreciate y'all. Shout something in the comments. Say, you know, throw a, throw a um, uh, MM in the comment or something like that. Let me just see if y'all there. I want to see some names. <laughs> I want to know what challenges you guys are bumping into. Is attacking a big issue? This you saw, I did a lot more practices on attacking in um, Friendly Face Off. Yeah, it sounds like a bunch of work. I'm going to tell y'all. Dedicate about five matches. Just experiment until you beat maybe like five teams or so. That small practice session is going to make you amazing in Guild v Guild content. Let's be real here. You have more experience than the majority of your guild in Guild v Guild by doing friendly face off. The majority of them. Because a lot of people, like myself, when I first started playing, before I even started making content, and Guild v Guild, I would just run around, you know, I have my eight battles and that was it. And then, you know, two days later, I'd do it again. And that was all the practice I got. I did 30 battles in um, Friendly Face Off, and now I have ideas on how to beat teams. And I can be honest with myself when I don't think I can beat the team. <laughs> So that being said, I hope you guys learn a good strategy. What I do recommend you guys do is go back into the video, pause at certain areas so you can get some timings down. I think that last battle with regulars was really, really good because that is one of the ways that um, my, main, my main cool person that I contacted with earlier, I, I communicated with that she's making great content for Guild v Guild, Slate. She showed a really good strategy on how to beat um, how to beat that team, how to bomb properly in Guild v Guild. And with that, I was like, okay, that's awesome for that left to right area. How do I do it in the central keep, which is where I prefer doing attacks and where I prefer defending. And you guys just saw, I practiced it enough in practice. Now I got a little bit more of the timing down and I can understand where I made an issue and then go back and fix it. Guild v Guild is freaking fun. Every time you play Guild v Guild, every time we do friendly face off, it also gets you ready for Demonic Crusade. I can't tell y'all enough, this content is freaking dope. I think there's like 12 stages with a daily challenge and then six challenge stages on top of that. And a daily challenge has like easy something, like easy elite hard and nightmare. And nightmare is, is, is a beast, nightmare is crazy. Uh, but I've beaten them all, so I'm gonna make content for you guys as well because it is GVG related. You're using demons again. Um, I love it. But I will tell y'all, if y'all want to get easy ancients, especially because by the time you guys see this video, I probably have done my pulls for Yovar. I don't know if I got him or not because it's the day before. I would like to get him or Carnelian, which is one of the best support champions in Guild v Guild. I'm not going to call her a healer because she doesn't become a healer until you're 30% or lower. 
She's a support champion, let's be honest. Like my son and daughter said, they always say like something, they're always like, um, did you eat the cookies? Be honest. Did you eat the snack? Be honest. They'll say that to each other all the time. And my son is three, so his voice is really high pitched. He's like, be honest, be honest. And he'll add it to anything. He's like, I just got in the car seat, be honest. <laughs> I love being a dad, y'all. But I appreciate y'all's support more than anything. I hope that you guys enjoy this game. Look forward to the new content. Check out the other Guild be Guild. I'm um, not Guild be Guild. Check out the other um, Guild boss that just got added. I did a whole video playing it live, just seeing how this content plays. Um, I think it's awesome. But y'all practice Guild be Guild. I hope y'all get some perfect eights out there. I didn't get it this time. The time before, I didn't get it either. I didn't record it. I was just trying to do them. The time before that, I got a perfect eight. I hope you guys get it as well. This has been your boy, Motor Mike. Y'all have an amazing, amazing weekend. I hope your subbies are great. Yes, I've been chatting for a minute, but I really like making this content with y'all. And plus, sometimes I do talk a little bit longer because some of y'all be popping off in the comment section or in the chat, and it gives you just enough of a window to conversate. So I like doing that. But without further ado, this has been the entire video. Y'all have an amazing evening. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Can't thank y'all enough for the support. Have an awesome time.